do you, do you think diabetes is an issue for you? No. What would you think if your GP told you that you were in danger of the level of diabetes? I'd be quite shocked. How likely would you be to do something about it? Straight away. I've got a lot to think about. What do you think causes diabetes? Uh, pancreas not working. What lifestyle changes do you think that people can make to reduce their chances of getting uh, Less sugar, nutrients, exercise, really. Depending on the type of diabetes you've got. Okay, yeah. Have you ever heard of the term pre diabetes? Yes, I nearly have a different pregnancy. What do you think pre diabetes? Well, uh, developing it, but you can also change it. If you wanted to find out more information about diabetes, uh, would you where would you go? Anyone else? Uh, uh, I wasn't believing. I don't think I believe it. Is there anything that we can give me now? I'll give you a little leaflet. It gives yeah. you a web address. You should go and get some more information. Yeah. Yeah. Diabetes UK website, yeah. and that has a whole um, page about the diabetes and risk factors. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Do you think diabetes is an issue for you? It was when it first started, because I didn't know what it was. So you have diabetes? Yes. <coughs> yeah. How long have you had diabetes? Uh, I was diagnosed in 2009. Did you take it? Don't have any insulin? No, not yet. So some of these questions uh, you're going to have to, you'll have to work our way around because they're intended mainly for people who haven't already got diabetes. Yeah, well I did tell you. What would you think if you were told by your GP that you were in danger? Did you get any warning before you... No, no, no. It comes up with a big surprise. Um, it was... Sorry. It must have been a bit of a shock then. Yes, it was, it was picked up from a routine blood test or something else. Had you heard about that? Yeah, yeah. Do you think it applied to you? No. <laughs> Had you tried to do anything to reduce the risk of diabetes before you had that? Not really, no. You know, it was a case of something that happened to me. What do you think causes diabetes? I think I got me stumped there. Um, I know it's the body's inability to make insulin, but when you say cause, are you, are you talking about a lifestyle or...? Yes, the risk factors as well yeah, as yeah, causes. Yeah, lifestyle. What sort of things in your lifestyle? Well, um, eating sugary foods as, as per normal, and eating sugary drinks as per normal, black. <laughs> What changes do you think people could make that would reduce their risk? Well, reduce sugar, that's that's the big end thing at the minute, the sugar ta tax. I appreciate Mr. Osborne's got to get his money from somewhere, but um, even so, that is a good thing. Any other things? Generally, taking care of yourself. Exercise is supposedly one of the things. Have you ever heard the term pre-diabetes? 
You never ever told you had to be the you know what that term means? I think it means. <laughs> checking back on your family history or something like that. If you wanted more information about that, Um, Diabetes UK. Yeah, there. There you go, I've got their literature, I've got their phone number. They're, they're the first book of the which you, you can virtually speak to somebody within sort of half an hour. You know, they'll, they'll always ring you back. Are you a member of any sort of support group? No, not that. So who looks after your diabetes? I do. <coughs> Do you see a GP very often about it? I see my GP regular and that's um, within the remit of the other problems I've got. Do you monitor your diabetes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do the sugar tests every every week or so. And if I don't feel too good, I, that's the first thing I look out for the blood sugar. Are there any questions you'd like to ask me? No, really. I'm, I've, got, I've got pretty well support. Yeah. Do you have any family history? Yes, yeah. Yeah, my one grandmother and my mother developed it. But it was me, father's mother. It was the grandmother with it. Yeah. Right. It's on both sides. Of the... yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. In that one. That's great. Thank you very much for taking part. Oh, that's all right, mate. If it's one else. Diabetes is an issue. In what country? Have you thought about it? Do you think it's no. something to lightly apply to? You? No, partners have diabetes and get a bit. So, uh, no, the thought of getting diabetes he scares me because I've seen her have a bad turn. It's a big panic for me. Uh, so I didn't know what to do. Not that you need to worry about a chocolate. When I mum came in, I gave her the chocolate. I said, oh, all well, you needed to worry about chocolate. But it would be a major medical thing like get an ambulance, you know, get medical out. Oh, yeah, but, uh, it sounds bad, but it depends what type of diabetes you get, I suppose. So what would you think if your GP were to tell you that you were at danger of diagnosing diabetes? Or if some of that, too, many, too much sugary drinks, too much chocolate, too many sweets could uh, potentially give me diabetes. Mm. Yeah, no, I've already been told by my GP that right. uh, I could potentially get diabetes, so I've cut out a lot of sugar, cut out a lot of sweets. Excellent. Yeah, my teeth feel a lot better for it as well. So if you were told that, and you have been told that, you would do something about it? You have done something about it? Mm, I won't say I did it because the doctor said. Okay. So I, it's a health thing. I do feel a bit bad if I don't have an energy drink in the morning, so is it kind of <coughs> making people like, you know, yeah, it's too much sugar. What do you think causes diabetes then? I think everybody's got it in them. I think someone just awakens it. I think, I think everybody's just potentially got everything within them. It's just someone that awakens it in your body. Yeah, I think it's sort of fortunate. Maybe a chemical reaction, it might be a food reaction, it could be anything. Nobody, nobody knows these things here, really. So what lifestyle changes do you think that people can make to reduce their risk?
Have you ever heard the term pre diabetes? Pre diabetes? Pre diabetes. What do you think it might mean? You're on the way to getting it? On the way to getting it. You, you, you're on the way to getting it, but there's nothing you can do to stop it, kind of thing. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if this is it, you are going to end up with diabetes, there's no way you can change it, kind of thing. If, if you wanted to find out more information about diabetes, who would you go to? And where I'd look on the internet. I won't, I won't waste my time, I won't waste the doctor's time, I won't waste the NHS's time. I'd, uh, I'd have a good look at the internet and then if I really thought it wasn't my plan, then I'd go to my doctor. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Do you mind if I ask how old you are? 29. Is there anything you want to ask me about diabetes? Um, what, what made you want to make people aware? What, 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 what's the big sudden uprise of diabetes? Well, there's been a big increase in the number of people in the population who have diabetes. And so a, a friend of mine on the verge of catching diabetes has been told so he's had to cut out well, he's cut he's taken it too far, he's cut out every sweet, every sugar, every and then he looked really poorly for a few days. So I told him you're not sleeping well, you need some sugar. You can't just cut it all out. So I think doctor will give you a proper guide to cutting sugar down, you know what I mean? Yeah. So can, it's alright and just taking too many sugars. What, what do you do to reduce it? It's like it's like a drug like coffee and caffeine and tea, sugar. So how, how do you reduce it? You, know, you can buy as much as you want of it. Well one of the things we're going to try and do is create new uh, resources and services to help people avoid diabetes in the first place. Give better advice to people. Yeah, we're identify we're people at an earlier stage. We're, we're in shock to stop there. I mean, big sweets for di diabetic people. It's been closed down. You know, I'd have thought it would have been open, you know. Like I say, the big increase, but everyone likes sweets. I thought the shop would have closed down. Well, that sounds good, making new products. Oh, you can build well for Thanks. Thank you. Okay, right, we're recording. Yeah. So, um, do you think then, David, that diabetes is an issue for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's for everybody who's got diabetes. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you said that you've actually got diabetes, so is that type 1 or type 2? Yeah, type 2. Type 2. Yeah. Okay. How long have you had that for? Um, my first heart attack in 19... Oh dear. 14 years ago. 14 so years. Good work, you know. <laughs> okay, so how did you feel when your GP told you that you got diabetes? Well, it comes as a shock, like I didn't, uh, I didn't believe it, like. Yeah. They only found it yet because I was in hospital with a heart attack. Oh gosh. Yeah. So, have you been trying to do something about the fact that you've got diabetes? Oh yeah, well I smoke the worst thing you can do, but I eat properly, I do all my food and... Yeah. So how long have you been smoking for? Oh, since I was 13 or 14. Oh, I packed it in for six months and I started again. And do you not think that you could perhaps give it up? I'll get a pleasure out of it. You get a pleasure yeah. out of it? I called me painkiller. Oh. Well, we shouldn't call it a painkiller. <laughs> no. So what do you think causes type 2 diabetes? Well, I, I think, um, well, they said the heart is like brought it on. Okay. But the hospital, let's choose the hospital. What kind of lifestyle changes do you think that people could make to reduce their risk of getting diabetes? Oh, food is the main one. Food? Food, yeah. yeah. Definitely the main one, food. So, better diet, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the term pre-diabetes? No. No. Could you hazard a guess at what that might mean? Uh, is it before you get diabetes, you check yourself out for past two diabetes, that is? It is, yeah. Yeah, it's, past two. Yeah, it's if you're at risk. Yeah. So, um, 
to the so, blade. So people with class two, the doctor was telling me, were on 19 stone, you see. And the doctor told me if I start losing weight, I probably need to be diabetes too. Ah, yeah, that's right. what he said. So, have you thought about trying to lose a little bit of weight? Then? Well, I'll, one month I could be 18 stone, the next month I'm 19 stone. I really like, I enjoy food. Yeah. Fresh food and. Okay. So. I enjoy vegetables, a plate full of vegetables. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Um, if you need to find out any more information about diabetes, where do you go? You well, I've got pamphlets on it. I sent away for them. Oh, okay. So yeah, I've got loads of pamphlets. Okay, lovely. I haven't bothered joining these diabetes organisations. Right. Because some people, oh, well, I don't know, they irritate me, they, you know. They go to the meeting just for something to do and some yeah. people have to. Yeah, that's true. I've got a loving family, you see. Oh. They look after me in the month. The wife's diabetes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Diabetic, sorry. So, is your wife type 1 or type 2? Type 2. She's type yeah. 2 as well. Okay. So, do you do anything together to try and alleviate? Oh, I'm eating proper eating. food, like, yeah. Yeah, okay. Boy, from the ball, don't eat this, don't eat that, and okay. you had this, you had that, and I can't forget. <laughs> you, you're not sneaking chocolate bars somewhere, are you? No, no. <laughs> no. I'm okay. not keen on chocolate. You don't like chocolate? No, I'm not keen oh. on it at all. Gosh. Have you not got a sweet teeth, then? I've got a sweet tooth, but... I've come off uh, sh uh, sugar, yeah. I've come off it all together. I have uh, sweeteners of E.T., yeah. one sweetener every time I have a tea or coffee, and I have Candorel powdered sugar for me here, but I have full flakes in the morning. Yeah. Okay, right, that's lovely. I don't think there's anything else that I need to ask. The biggest see. problem with weight is bread. bread. Bread is one of the biggest problems out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you find, do you find... The cakes and uh, I don't bother with cakes. Bread and cakes. Okay. Because bread is just a filler. You get no goodness out of the bread. No. No. Bread. I don't think you do. No. It's just so you a don't, filler. you don't eat much bread? No, I have two grounds at one time. Okay. With, uh, with ham or tongue or something like that. Yeah. But bread is a killer for yeah. putting weight on. Okay, lovely. Okay, that is fabulous. Okay. Okay, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, obviously we're here today talking to people about diabetes. And um, is diabetes an issue? Well, only this last four or five years, I suppose. I'm not. Um, I'm not it doesn't concern me before, but uh, it seems important. I don't feel any different. Okay, okay. so so you've been diagnosed with diabetes. Um, about four or five years ago. So I'm guessing that's time to. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um what how did you actually feel when you did the top to you got diabetes? Well I well, I wasn't concerned about it. It didn't seem to I hadn't sunk in no till I got on the insulin to be honest. Okay, so initially were you just controlling your feet? Uh, well no, they were giving me tablets. But okay. I, I mean I wasn't um, Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was taking the tablets, of course, but not, uh, not at the right time. I just took them when I, when I... When you remembered? Well, no. Well, I could really, because I saw it sometimes I'm, I'm off drive and I don't know at six o'clock, so it's a lot of different uh, situations. But, uh, now oh. I've sort of got it uh, uh, on board. Brilliant. Okay, but now you're actually having insulin injections. Yes. Yeah. And are you doing those yourself? Yes. Yeah. And how long have you been doing the injections for? Three weeks. Three weeks. So it's quite a new thing then. Yeah. How are you finding that? Uh, well, I thought I'd have problems, but uh, no, I've got the head out of it. I've got the way, and I've got the 
some of the to see the Yeah, I didn't think I would be, but you said. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, so, um, so what, are you doing anything else apart from injecting yourself this? Well, made any other changes? Well, I cut down on all the sugar and things and all that. Uh, well, I cut down on a lot of things, really. Uh, but I'm probably still, still consuming too much. Of it. <laughs> have you got a sweet tea? Yes, but no, I have controlled. I don't uh, I don't eat cakes, and uh, that was one of my favourites, really. But I have got like a small sugar and anything. Well, even the sugar in everything, of course. Yeah. I have a lot of fruit and uh, there's a lot of sugar in it, actually. But, uh, what can I do with that? Yeah. Okay. What do you think the cause is diabetes? I don't know what I'm talking about. Is that what it is? That's what I'm talking about. kids, so you've got, got diabetes. <laughs> That's what I'm sure. Well, I don't know. Quite, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure. Okay. It's what mother's cooking, I suppose. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I write it. You're not supposed to laugh, you know. <laughs> No, it's a very serious thing. I don't know why I was thinking about good looking. <laughs> Bless you. Um, okay, so if you were going to give anybody else some advice, um, what, what kind of advice would you give them about reducing their risk of getting diabetes? Well, they have to be careful with what they eat as much as anything, I think, and their lifestyle. And, uh, my lifestyle was so good, and I was young and maybe like everybody else. But, uh, it's only this last few years uh, it's, it's gone, so I think I've done a bit of it. But as we're giving in, anybody who's made a few minutes, you'd like to say, no. what can you do? Yeah. You can do what they do with you. Yeah, they will, to a certain extent. Um, have you ever heard of the term pre-diabetes? What do you call it? Pre-diabetes. No. No? no. Could you hazard a guess at what that might mean? Well, before you were diagnosed, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's people that are actually at risk. So, um, people who may not have a particular health and diet. I thought I was about people all have it's like cancer. It's just been something to figure it out, really. Do you think that people should be aware of the risk of getting a lot of your family. Oh, so it's, yeah. So there's family history then there. Yeah. And is is it all type 2? No, I think it's a mix. It's a mix. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you're right in this time because <laughs> you wouldn't understand my writing. I'm a bit like a doctor. <laughs> oh dear. Um, if you need to find out um, more information about diabetes, where did you go? You go. Okay, that's fab. Just me at 68. Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, that's brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Have a lovely day. Alright, well, I'm not away here. I'm not looking. <laughs> Yes. Uh, do you think diabetes is a For me, no. What would you think if your GP were to say to you that you were at risk of diabetes? Well, if he, he said I was at risk of diabetes, I'd do something about it. But I've got a number of other conditions, and he keeps a very close watch on my blood. I'm always giving blood. And he's looking for diabetes there, and everything's fine. Oh, of course, yes, yes, indeed. What do you think causes diabetes? Oh, gosh, overweight, um, bad diet, um, inherited, yes, we, we have a genetic element to it, yeah. What lifestyle changes do you think people can make that would reduce their risk? Lose weight. Lose weight, eat a healthier diet. No. Pre-diabetes. Can't say that I have. No. No. What do you think the term might be? Pre-diabetes. 
Well, I suppose it might mean that there are one or two signs around that could be interpreted as leading to diabetes. That's all I can think of. If you wanted to find out more information about that, who would you go to? Well, the, the internet, or um, if, I, if, if I were really worried, I might go to see one of the nurses at the surgery and have a talk to them about it. Are there any questions you'd like to ask me? I don't think so. My brother has been diagnosed with type 2, or he, no, he's on the brink of it, isn't he? He's dealt with it by diet, yes. But then he's had a very different lifestyle from me. He's, he doesn't put on weight like I do, but he, he, he's had post office breakfasts for most of his life. So I think diet has got something to do with it. <laughs> and tea with sugars. Yes. Endless teas and sugars. Okay. That would, that would well, I think it is. Quite, yeah. um, I'll give you a little simple paper which yeah. uh, has the information of the Diabetes UK website. Yes. It tells you about food diabetes. Right. It's a term that's begun to be used for people who, as you say, are beginning to head in the direction of diabetes. Yes, but yes. They're not quite there yet. Re and it's yeah. still reversible at that stage. Indeed. Um, what yeah. we want to do is try and offer more services at that stage so people don't have to actually. Fair enough, yeah, that's good. There are two types of diabetes. There's type 1, which usually occurs, as you say, uh, in younger ages and is um, thought to be a many an autoimmune condition in the pancreas and is inherited of uh, Yes, it's not completely known what causes it. But that the bulk of the, the rise in diabetes is occurring is in type 2 diabetes. Yes, it indeed. It's the type that's related to lifestyle. To lifestyle, And yes. that's what's driving the numbers. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have one-tenth of the entire NHS budget spent on diabetes. I know, I know. Maybe 30% of the population have to be diabetes. Yeah. So it's just, we're heading in the wrong direction. Absolutely. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank Can you put that in your bag? Help. Not at all. OK, thank you. Thank you for being so much. Do you think diabetes is an issue for you? Not for me personally. What would you think of your GP to tell you? I'm going to say mine's going to be hot in the bottom. It's a life of life. How likely would you be to do something like that? Pretty promptly. <laughs> 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 too much sugar, not enough exercise, bad diet. Thank you. 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 Thank have you ever heard the term I think I have, yes. What do you think the term tree diabetes is? Yeah. You stop people before you get your head in this that way to get towards diabetes, but not quite there if you don't change your lifestyle. Excellent. Thank you. If you wanted more information about diabetes, where would you go? Where would you speak to? I'd probably go on NHS Direct online. I use that for everything. Okay. Are there any questions you'd like to ask me about diabetes? Uh, not particularly, no. Um, no not. I was only passing out of the shops a bit because. Um, my brother-in-law died two weeks ago. It's something related to diabetes. He had diabetes as well, and that's what determined the point of death was. Yeah. It's diabetes. It's made me become more aware to be honest the past few weeks. Diabetes is going up in the population. There are two types of diabetes.